name is Yaya Herlin, and I'm a technical marketing engineer here at Checkpoint. Today with us, we have the honor of having Checkpoint's own Koran, who is our innovator in advanced threat analysis. Today, we are going to discuss advanced log analytics using SmartView. One of the challenges related to threat analysis is the ability to, to digest a large quantity of logs related to security incidents. Our second challenge is a more common approach taken by leading vendors, that is, generating a security event only by the technology that identifies and handles the threats. Within the Checkpoint Smart Console, our SmartView is addressing these challenges with an advanced aggregation technology and a rich granular visualization of the data. At Checkpoint, we never stop innovating. This new capability we are able to offer is changing the focus from a blade-centric approach into an attack vector approach. Move from protection names and blades to attack terminology. Owen, would you mind taking us through this? Yeah, would love to. In our latest RATGA release, we introduced a new sophisticated way to aggregate threat prevention events into attack vectors, as well as addressing business-related questions, all while highlighting the significant threats our customers need to address accordingly in the era of fifth-generation cyber threats. Our Checkpoint expert divided it into the following. Infected hosts, reconnaissance actions against the network such as port scanning, web download and mail delivery method, server exploit, as well as a malicious surfing of users. As you can see in SmartView, on the first page, we can clearly view how many potential infected hosts have been identified. Awesome. Over here, we can see how many users and hosts are potentially impacted and how many were actually protected from potential threats. It is important to note in the new cyber attack view dashboard, we can identify trends in two ways. The first trend is relevant to CNC communication, and the second is a generic attack against the network. Moving to the reconnaissance view, host scanned by attackers, we can see which specific hosts are the most commonly scanned and by whom, on top of finding out the particular scanning technology that was used by the attacker. If we will move to the attack vector related to malicious emails, we can see how many users have received emails that contains malware and how many malicious emails were sent to the organization. Over here, we can see all the top targeted users in the network and over here, all the top malicious senders. Most importantly, we can review all the relevant data regarding the malicious emails in a simple aggregation list. True to Checkpoint fashion, everything is drillable, all in a single pane of glass. I now want to show you, just here, the top 10 email protection types, which is perfect example for the advanced aggregation we've added as a widget, allowing us to aggregate email attacks not related to the traditional blade terminology. Another example of advanced aggregation is the ability to locate an infected host in a fast and efficient manner. By simply clicking the infected host section, we can see the list of hosts that were connected to domain related to a command control center. By reviewing the aggregated events, we can dive into specific hosts and understand what is the infection or what is the malicious behavior. We can find out exactly when it took place and if certain actions like remediation action from the internal network is indeed required. That was so interesting. Upon countless hours researching and speaking to our customers to truly understand what the need from the field is, we have created an automated solution for advanced threat event aggregation, exporting the top threats needed to be taken care of, aka finding the needle in the haystack. With SmartView, you are able to focus and point out the top critical threats against the organization in a simple, intuitive way. This brings our session to an end. Join the conversation, connect and share with the Checkpoint experts and the entire community at community.checkpoint.com. Thank you.